Lunchtime. How was that? That was great. That's how I imagine her sounding. You know, you ever look at a magazine and you see the person's face and like they're doing a review or something of the recipe they made or a recipe they tried. And when you look at their face, like in your head, you're reading it in their voice. Just me. Anyway, it's lunchtime. <laughs> So the kids wanna roast some hot dogs out there over the fire, and I'm gonna heat up this chili. Of course, this is not hot dog chili. We don't put beans in hot dog chili for sure. I mean, if you do, it's fine, but we don't do beans in hot dog chili. But I'm gonna heat up this chili because I only got this just to do a little taste test of it to see if it really tastes like the Wendy's chili, and I forgot about it. So we're gonna give it a try. Just have it kinda on the side with our hot dog. I mean, if anybody wants to put it on their hot dog, they can. <laughs> some chips with the hot dogs today. I think everybody likes these spicy kind. If they don't, they can, I have some little bags. We can pick out some little bags. I'm gonna go ahead and start the chili, then we'll go get the fire started. Hmm, smells like Wendy's chili. All right, it's pretty cool out here today too, y'all. Yesterday and today have been almost feeling like our winters. We don't have, you know, extremely cold winters anyway, but I need to come out here and sweep the floor. We were out here trying to crack those hickory nuts yesterday. Well, not the floor, but the porch, you know. There are little pieces of hickory nuts everywhere where we were trying to crack them. Jonah and Sissy did eventually get into them. Jonah had, oh, I gotta turn the propane tank on. Jonah was throwing a cement block at them. It cracked them. I think it's pretty close to Wendy's chili. It's not exact, not exactly like it, but it is very close. It's definitely not terrible. They need to sell it in a family size or something. Because <laughs> if you want chili quick and don't want to have to cook it, that's definitely, it's good. Me and Cece, I guess, are the official hot dog roasters. Nobody else is coming out here with us. I was like, what is that smell? Mm -hmm. Got me in the mood to cook a steak and y'all back here <laughs> already doing these. Folks, winter time has returned. Mm-hmm. Jack Frost came back nipping. Nipping. <laughs> Joker started biting last night like a mean dog. Go taste that chili and see, well, you got Big Red. Big Red will affect your taste buds. Yeah, well, I'll spit it out. That's pretty close. Yeah, that's what I said. It's, it's not exact, but it's pretty close to it. That's pretty close to everybody. Okay, y'all, it's a little bit after three o'clock now. I'm gonna make, I think we're gonna make the Supreme Pizza Soup for supper, but first, Mr. Man wants to make... Football cookies. Football cookies, let me scoot you over. Are they freeze? Oh. Are they freezed up? No, they're not freezed up, here they are. <gasps> See ya? Yeah, I started them on, on the big soup day. They're we gotta so get a pan. nice. Okay. Whoa, it's really cold. On the I just out there cranking up uh, the truck that yeah. the boys are working on, so that's what all that loud noise is out there. Ooh, that's loud. Let me go shut this door. Ooh, that's loud. That's really that loud, Mom. Bit. Yeah. I did it. You did it. I got a tree. Ooh. Yeah, they're football cookies. And we are going to make them, and I going to make Mama help make football cookies. Where did mm -hmm. Sissy go? She went in there. I'm going to do three in a row. Okay. You're just the color of football. So I just did it well all the way with my hand. Yeah. Do -de do do do. I'm surprised the Cookie Monster Jake hasn't found these already and made them, aren't you? Uh-huh. 
Usually if there's cookie dough in the house, he's gonna be baking it. One more to go. That's it, you got it. Now when the oven beats, we'll put them in. Let's just spread them out a little more here. There we go. I'm also gonna be making some pumpkin bread. I'll probably make this later tonight. Tyler requested more of the Libby's pumpkin bread. Okay y'all, for the Supreme Pizza Soup, the first thing we do is bake some Texas toast. This is garlic Texas toast. This is a 30 minute meal. Okay y'all, we got the garlic bread in the oven. Now we're just gonna chop up this onion and bell pepper. And we're gonna go ahead, I think I'll go ahead and put the Italian sausage in my pan over here. We'll go ahead and turn that to medium. Oh, I need to set a timer for the bread. We just need it to be in there for about eight minutes. And I'm just gonna put this onion and pepper straight over in here with the Italian sausage. She's making cheese for supper. Cheese? Yeah. They're talking to each other with the walkie talkies. Jonah and Sissy are outside. <laughs> she wanted to know what was for supper. Tell her it's Supreme Pizza Soup. It's Supreme Pizza Soup. Perfect. That was perfect. Yeah, it's really yummy. All right, so while this is cooking, we're gonna chop up some pepperoni. Maybe about two thirds of a cup, I guess. This doesn't have to do anything perfect, just a rough chop. Sorry, that sauce is getting pretty loud. You wanna make sure you save some pepperonis to go on top of your um, Texas toast, though. So save at least depending on how many you need to make, save um, at least for about three to go on top of the bread. All right, we'll go ahead and take out the bread and we'll just sit it over to the side for now. Okay, sausage is just about done. We're gonna go ahead and put in the pepperoni. We're just gonna let this cook for a couple of minutes, then we'll remove it from the heat and start the soup. In this pot, we're gonna go ahead and start putting our soups in here. We're just using this Progresso tomato basil soup. I have four cans of it. I'm thankful that they have the pull tab tops. Now, I'm like more than doubling this recipe, I think, but I'll put the original down below for y'all. Now we're gonna put in one can of Rotel. I had the great value kind, but it's the same thing as Rotel. Just some tomatoes and peppers. Okay, so we took the sausage mixture off the heat. I've got it right over here. The sausage is all cooked through. We're gonna stir the soup and tomatoes. Still have this on medium right now. And we're gonna put in half a cup of milk. There we go. Now I'm gonna add the sausage mixture in here with the soup and I'm just gonna drain it as I add it in. It's not a lot to drain, but there is just a little bit. So I'll just do that as I add it in. Okay, we just stir that all together and this is it for the soup part. Now we're gonna bring back over the garlic bread. I still just have this on just a little bit over medium. Now we're gonna take some sliced mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever kind you want. The recipe actually said provolone, but we're going with mozzarella. And we'll just put a slice on top of each piece of toast. Now we put some pepperoni on each one. I'm just gonna go with three, I think, just like that. You accidentally got out two extra. Eat those. That's what you do. Now we shake on some grated Parmesan. We're gonna turn the broiler on in the oven. These are gonna go in just for about three to five minutes until the cheese is melted. And by then, the soup should be simmering. And we'll be ready to eat. I've been excited about this one. I'll tell you what. I, I hope it's as good as it sounds, you know? Uh, well, I gotta be honest with you, it smells good. It smells real so good. So you serve it with the bread on top, but then you can remove your bread. I'm you gonna know? remove the bread yeah. so I can tell you the taste of the soup. 
See, that looks good, you know, when you present it with the bread on, but then you still oh, eat your really? bread on the side. Yeah, I gotta say, that, that looks really good. Yeah. It's like you a big old like this right here too, show them that. Oh yeah, on. you could just put the bread on the side. If you wanted to do it that way. Yeah. While we're blowing this to coolness, what's the, uh, what is that candle right there? Um, apple fritters. That smells good. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. It'll make you want an apple fritter. I cannot say fritter sometimes. Apple fritter. It will make you want an apple fritter sometimes. Fritter is hard to say. Fritter, apple fritter. Yeah, that's a hard English word. Mmm, <laughs> that's delicious. Does that's it taste good. like a supreme pizza in soup formation? <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna tell you something. I had kind of my doubts about this one right here. Yeah, this he is did. Really good. Miss Turkey's coming to see you, Manny. Hey, Roosty, you going up already? You better wait for your girls. Ladies first, you know. He's like, whatever, I just saw you put fresh feed in there. These chickens are going wild. Look, Roosty gave the call that the fresh feed was in. Watch them. They are flying from that side of the pond. All the, oh, look, there goes one. <laughs> all the way across. Watch out, Jonah. There are flying chickens everywhere. There it goes. Oh, it's just gonna run. It's not gonna fly. Manly's trying to lead them in. Miss Turkey weighs more than he does. He's not going to be able to get her in. <laughs> there they go. Here comes a straggler. What you doing? <laughs> Miss Turkey followed us down here. Look at her. She's traveling on. You're going the wrong way, Miss Turkey. It's time for bed. Miss Turkey. Call her, Manny. You know how to call her. Let's check on our bush beans down here. Whoa. Yeah, they're growing. They're looking pretty good. Have you seen the baby cucumber yet? Yeah, let's see. Yeah. That's baby. a little baby cucumber. Is this your secret club? Yeah, let's go in. Okay. Be very careful. Okay. There's spiders in here. Oh no. Yeah, this is a nice secret club. Yeah. Now uh huh. All right, y'all, it's a little while later. Everybody's taking turns with baths and getting ready for bed. I'm gonna get some pumpkin bread in the oven for all these pumpkin muffin lovers around here. So if y'all missed the pumpkin bread contest, I'll link it down below. Libby's was the winner.